you need funding for your real estate deals? Future Cash Flow Funding has exactly what you need. Whether you're looking to fix and flip, new construction loans, or if you even have rental properties, you can get the financing you need today. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. Check it out. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. I got feelings for you, and you know when it's true. Say the bodies you got. I pray it ain't more than a few. Who? 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 Welcome to the replay viewers and welcome to the live viewers. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see here. Got a new lead just came in about to call it. Don't know if they're going to answer or not, but I thought I'd hop it on here and see what happens, you know? You never really know what happens now. What up, Mamba? The Mamba investor in the building. What up, what up, what up? What up, Rio Williams, realtor? What up? I love working with realtors. Let's see something here. I love working with realtors. What up, what up? Happy 2024. Oh, today is 2-22-2024. I just looked up the calendar on the phone, so I'm about to call this seller back right quick and see if uh, we can get a deal. Just came in about, uh, I don't know. 30 minutes ago or something, 40 minutes ago. Oh, he want full retail too. Emergency reasons. My, name, my main name, Larry, has a house over here in St. Ann, Missouri. Says he wants to sell his house for emergency reasons. What could that be? Let me see, Let me see what this is. Let me see something real quick, quick, quick. Uh, ooh. It's like a two bedroom, two bath, 982 square feet, brick house, cute little house. Let me see some. Um, he wants 140,000 for the house. It's in excellent condition and he wants to sell it. And it's owner occupied. So yeah, let's give him a call. Let's see what he told him about. Call him up, call him up. Hope he answers the phone though. So for those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. It's the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. I'm out of St. Louis, Missouri. I do some real estate investing here. I'm working on a flip right now. We're gonna be flipping. A flip that I actually wholesaled to myself and then flipping it. So that's gonna be a case study we'll have coming up for you in the future. And I do some wholesaling nationwide. So yeah, so give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. If you care, and I'm about to call Mr. Hey, what was his Chris, name? That you? Damn. Larry. Was it Larry? Yeah, Larry. Mike Lowry. <laughs> yep, did something happen here? Let's try it again. Huh. It's going straight to off. There's something wrong with my phone. Let's dial from a different number. I don't know. That's been something I've been noticing lately. Sometimes I have to switch phone numbers and call people. That's weird. But I'll try it on a different number. Let's call from the main line. What up, Nubian Queen? No, that's something going on with his phone. Hmm. Well, let's call from my house, from my regular phone. I didn't want to do this, but them phone numbers both went straight to a thing. Ready to call him. This dude ain't even answering the phone. Hey, uh, Larry. Hey, this is Chris. I got your. Uh, you had put in a form on our website. Say you were looking to sell the house on Wismer. How are you today? I'm good. Uh, I talked to one of your people, and they said that you're not willing to pay me what I want. Well, you never know. It's it's possible. What are you trying to accomplish here? What's what's the deal? Okay, I bought this house about maybe five years. The house is still in good condition. Okay. But I've had some situations where I'm, where I got sick and I started. You know, I don't make as much as I used to, but I am not behind on anything. I'm gonna make it work. My uh, 
uh, equity, you give me about forty thousand, forty six thousand dollars. The house is valued at one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. There's no repairs need to be done to this house at this time. I mean, the roof is good. Uh, the point is good. The plumbing is good. Uh, everything in it is fine. Cause I've been really practically living here by myself, and then I let my brother move in. Oh, okay. And I pay a hundred eight thousand dollars in taxes for this house. What? Yeah. What? Why is it so much? That's what I pay for taxes. And I said to myself, that is too much. I'm 63 years old. Uh, well, I'll be turning 63 March the 10th. Oh, okay. You're almost so, ready for, uh, what did they get? Social Security money now, ain't it? Yeah, I'm in Social Security because last year I got sick. And, uh, well, uh, uh, it's been a little bit more than a year now. I got sick. I had pneumonia. And that's when I had to reduce my income because I was making about $50,000, almost $50,000 a year. So when I got sick, I said, mm, I better do something to make sure I don't get in a financial situation. And I did an early retirement at 62. But what they given me, I work part time. My job pissed me off today. So, well, that's what they, that's what they're supposed to do, ain't it? <laughs> that's their job, isn't it? To try to piss you off. <laughs> yeah, they piss me off. But I'm, I'm going to keep it because I need to keep it. But I think that let me relinquish some of this responsibilities that I have. And then I can get back to where I used to be. Now, I, I, when I bought the house, I've been staying here at all, all, uh, uh, 76000 but if you round it off, it'll be about like seventy six, six hundred. So I round it off to about seventy seven thousand. All right, I'm good. The monthly uh, mortgage is only seven oh one. I'm good. I pay it late, but I pay it. I know that's right. So you've been making the payments of seven oh one. So let me ask you this, uh, Larry. In the event we work, insurance and the mortgage and the taxes. Oh, so that 701 includes the taxes and insurance? Yes. Oh, wow, that's good. So in the event we were able to buy the property, I mean, do you have a place identified to move to and everything? Or how are you looking on that part? Uh, I would need 30 days after the sale or during the sale to, to accomplish that. What, what I did thought about it was I was just going to move into me and say, it's a bill. Get it. Uh, Okay. What, what what does that cost? About the same every month? Or? Okay, oh, like uh, sixteen thousand dollars in credit card debt. Maybe you know, we round that off to seventeen thousand, and I owe like twenty one thousand dollars on my car. That's thirty eight thousand dollars. So I wouldn't take less than forty thousand dollars because if I didn't do nothing to pay off the credit card debt. I still had a card debt. I would be good. Oh, uh, okay. So your main goal is to get enough to pay that credit card debt off. So about sixteen thousand dollars at a minimum. Is that what you're saying? Seventeen thousand dollars at a minimum because it's sixteen six something. I pay about five hundred eight, five hundred and sixty five dollars a month credit card debt. Oh wow, that's a lot, huh? Yeah, well, I have more than one. Yeah, and I think they went up on the interest on the credit cards now too, huh? Oh, uh, well, what happened was when I bought the house, uh, I didn't have no credit at first. I was credit, I was debt free when I bought this house. And when I bought the house, credit cards was coming left and right. Oh, they knew that you had good credit, so they, they started sending you that mail, huh? She didn't help you spend up that money, did she? Oh, yes, she did. Ah. <laughs> I figured that. Hey, I'm just being honest. Hey, there's nothing wrong with honesty, you know. I mean, 
uh, if that's what I'm saying. The house is worth one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in taxes, because that's what they charge me. I want one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. That includes what the house payment is left over, and what's left over after the house is paid off. And I, I need, I need at least thirty thousand dollars. So, and you said it's still owed. How much on the uh, to pay off the loan? How much is that? Seventy six. Seventy six thousand. So, basically, your main goal is to try to get enough money to pay that credit card debt, move into a new place, and uh, kind of start over again. Is that what I'm hearing? Right. I'm trying to start all over again. Simple as that. I mean, I'm sixty. Sixty. I'll be sixty three more the ten, like I said. Well, I'll be sixty four. Cause this is 2024. I was born in 1960, so I'll be 64. Yeah, I'm trying to just say. See, I watched my mama work to when she was retired. I quit my job and took care of her till she died. Mm-hmm. So I don't want that to happen to me. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, so so you think the house is worth about 150, and you want to sell it for about 130. <laughs> Who is that? The the St. Louis County tax is taxing you that much? St. Louis County is taxing me one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for this house. That is crazy. You know what you think? What made them do that? They told me some tax assessor came by there and said my house was worth one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Two years after I moved here. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the- I, I think if you want me to be honest with you. I think they don't want me here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, you know, that's possible as well. That, that is definitely possible as well. So, uh, let me ask you this, Larry. If we're able to agree on a price and everything, what kind of timeline are you on? How soon would you be looking to close and be done with it? We agree on the timeline. By the time I would say the check and know everything is, 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 is good, I would need at least 30 days to get out of here. And, uh, I mean, that that means I would be out of here with the furniture and have somebody come in here and make sure everything is cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Well, what kind of offers have you received on it so far? Well, I've been getting a lot of you know, papers in the mail and papers stuck in my mailbox. But I keep seeing your Chris by Holmes. That's who you are. Yeah, my name's Chris. Um, I'm trying to figure yeah. out. Um, I've got a couple of little, your little cards in my mailbox. So, Larry, in, uh, so you say you just need a little bit of time to move. You will be ready to get the process going. Um, so, you haven't had any actual offers, though. Like somebody said, we'll give you a hundred and whatever thousand. Well, everybody has been uh, talking to me. I've been acting like, get out of my face. Because in reality, you seem like the best person to talk to. Now, like I told your person that talked to me earlier, if this wasn't going to work, don't call me back. Yeah, that probably was somebody else. How much did they offer you? $120,000. So 120 would not work for you. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not. I really want 140, but I'll, I'll accept 130. Because you know, also, you know, when we. Yeah. And it's a tree in the front yard that I've been getting cut down. It's pieces of tree in the front yard because they should have cut it down before I bought it. And my girlfriend told me I should have had that done, but I was hard to hit it. But I didn't. <laughs> So, Larry, there's a couple of ways we may be able to help you. So, it's just totally going to be up to you. Um, we can actually get you a cash offer on it, like you're asking for as a purchase price. Uh, you know, I have to figure out what that would actually be. We probably would be close to that 130, but I'm not sure if we can do that or not, but I will find out. Uh, another option is, um, you know, a little bit more creative. Uh, what we've done in the past for people in situations like yours 
is we've given them some money at closing, basically to help them move or something like that, like what you need to pay off debt. And we just took over their mortgage payment and we got, you know, got them paid out that way. You think something like that could help you out? Okay, let me explain something to you, what I'm saying. I'm saying 30,000 is what I would want to walk away with because even if I didn't pay off all the credit card debt, which thirty thousand would be able to pay off the total credit card debt? When I got sick, I had just bought a new car. That car payment is five hundred and twelve dollars a month. With the and, and I'm driving on a expired tip tag. Uh oh! Don't let them catch you out there. They looking for you. Yeah, I know they looking for me, but Saint Anne know me. Oh, okay. And so far, I've been blessed. Mm -hmm. It's two years old. Oh, fifteen hundred dollars on that. So with the seventeen hundred, as far as to say about that, and the fifteen hundred, that adds up to. 17, 17, about twenty-two, twenty-three hundred dollars. I'll say to round it off. That would give me seventeen, seven thousand dollars to be working with when I move. And I'm not gonna go with less than that. Cause in other words, I'll stay what I got and do what I gotta do. Yeah, that's just what I was about to ask you. What happens if you don't sell it? I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I mean, I just talk to my job and, and, and let them know. Bleed is, bleed is. I called my job because when they when I left today, it pissed me off. And I left, they texted me and said, Larry, come back. And they called me about four times before I answered the phone. But then I called them about 5 30 this evening and said, okay, I understand where we was going with this today. I said, but let me let y'all know something. When I start, when I started working for y'all, I let y'all know what I was about. To do. I've been working in school bus driving since 2008. I used to get paid double for any extra routes I did. That means if I did my route and another route, I got paid four hours. Mm. Well, they want to just pay me and say, well, didn't you get paid for the hour that you was working? And I'm like, y'all got me effed up. Wow. Yeah, they, they try to like they pushing your buttons or something there, Larry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, I'm trying to see a way how we can help you out in this situation. Let me explain something to you right now. If this house is not sold by the time I get my income tax and I get a little extra money, I'm going to get my license plates right, right. And I can go back to work where I came from. And I can tell Social Security to take the little Social Security check and stick it up their butt. Because I was making almost five thousand dollars a month. So will they cut your social security off if you go get a job? Is that is that what they do? I got it. Yeah, they, they only allow me to make twenty one hundred dollars a month. Oh wow! So they're watching your pockets. Yeah, if I make more than twenty one hundred dollars a month, they double what I'd have made. Mmm. Well, I mean, Larry, I, I want to help you. I want to help you out, but they put on my neck. But see. It's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I really want to help you out on this, Larry, and see, you know, what we can do. The house is worth what I say it's worth. Is this a two bedroom, two bath? Yeah. Two bedrooms, two bath. There's a bathroom upstairs, there's a bathroom in the basement. It's, it's, it's an extra bedroom couldn't be added to the basement if they wanted to. Is that a walkout basement there, I guess? Yes, it is. Okay. And the backyard is as big as a lot. I didn't call deer out, but well, I ain't catching. But deer hang out in the backyard. Oh no, they be back there uh, eating in the grass, huh? <laughs> I looked out the back, and it's a couple of deer be hanging out, <laughs> and I'm like, wow. <laughs> and when I was on my way to work one morning, I saw a couple of them on Ashby hanging in somebody's front yard. I said, wow, we got a lot of deer out there. Yeah. But they don't tear up nothing. Larry, is there a reason why you don't just list it on the MLS with a real estate agent or something like that? I could do that. I could. But I don't 
want to because I don't want see your program told me I wouldn't have to worry about no closing calls and all that other stuff would be taken care of I don't want to have to go through that when I bought this house I had to go through that I put up the deposit I paid the inspector I did this I did that and I got this house yeah I bought it for Christmas hmm 2010 or was it 2011? Wasn't it 2010? Okay. 2016. 17. Or 17. Well, 2016 or 17. Maybe 18. I got this house. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let me see what I can do on that. Um, and you said if it came in at 120 or less, it's a waste of your time. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> So I mean, I, I don't. Let me make sure I'm looking at this right. So if you owe seventy six, you if you wanted thirty thousand in your pocket, you can sell it for. Give me out. Give me out. All right. Uh, twenty thousand dollars. 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 Right, and we pay the closing costs. And y'all pay everything else. We can do that. So, so we can do one hundred six cash, pay the closing costs, work with you on your timeline, so you can move and everything. You'd be ready to get the process started today. I wouldn't have to pay for nothing but to pay off my house, right? That's correct. One hundred six cash. They they will take that seventy six out to pay your loan off. And the difference will go straight in your pocket. You can either pick up a check or have it wired to your account. Either way. That'll be, that, that'll be my $30,000. There you go. So 106 cash. You ready to get the process started today? We can do that. Okay, perfect. Let me get you set up here. Um, I have your email address on here. Book. That's correct. All right. I'm going to get you this sent over to you right now. It's going to have a purchase agreement. Say we're agreeing on a price of $106,000. Um, it's going to be a cash transaction. Um, it'll pay off your loan, like I say. We'll go through title. I'll have 30 days to move. Yeah, we'll work with you on a timeline. So, yeah, we can definitely give you time on that um, to help you get out of there. So, um, let's see here. I think I have what I need here. Now, are there any other people on the uh, title or anything? Or is it just you, Larry? It's me. I, I, I let my little brother... Uh, get on just in case something happened to me, but he, he has nothing to do with my payments or nothing. Okay, so yeah, so he'll be able to sign off if needed. Is that what I'm hearing? That's correct. Okay. And if he tell me that he, I could do better, then you're gonna lose that. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, 106 cash. I think that that'll work because uh. Well, why don't we say 107? Just to make sure. <laughs> Oh, oh, you gotta get me for the extra money. Come on, Larry, work with me. My birthday coming up. My birthday coming up. My too, Uh oh, you finna celebrate, huh? You gonna be partying? Yeah, I need that thousand dollars celebrate. I know that's right. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, I'm getting the paperwork set up for you now. It'll be in your inbox here in a second. I just got to fill out a couple of blanks here. Um, yeah. So I'm going to send this to you within the next 10 minutes. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, well, you know, I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. You caught me. This club is going to go to bed, so it might not be built out to in the morning. Okay, that's fine. So I'll have everything sent over to you, uh, and and we'll have it set as a cash transaction. It'll have all the title company information and everything on that document. I'm with Penny Mac. Penny Mac, yeah, we pay them off plenty of times. We send them so much money, it's getting funny. Okay. Yep. Other than that, uh, Larry, anything else that I need to know? Yeah, I think every house we buy in St. Louis has a sewer bill on it for some reason. I don't know why. Really? That's what I'm saying. When did this happen? 
<laughs> you see, you a month. Right. See, that's the kind of crap. See, what I didn't learn it was ghost beetles when you buy a house. Oh, really? Yeah, you got the ghost beetles, your, your taxes, your sewer, your water. All the stuff you didn't even know there was a bill. You'd be like, man, trash. before you know it, you're paying extra money. Yeah, trash. Oh, uh, yeah, water, sewer, trash. We pay a lot of them bills, so. And then some of our tenants don't pay it either, so we end up catching it. I wasn't used to doing that when I was, you know. And like I said, if I get the money, I, I move into a to see some nice things. By me driving buses, I pass by some nice senior citizen complex. Okay, cool. How long you drove a bus for? Since 2008. Oh, you might know my grandfather. He drove uh, for a metro or by state for, I don't know, 25 years or something. Yo, I'm up there in 16 years. Oh, wow. So you getting it getting it in. Uh, well, but they not, they not pay them. I make $26 an hour. So if they was paying me for the two routes that I was doing, I should be making $52 an hour. Mm-hmm. But you, they not doing that. Oh yeah, they slowed that down. Uh, and, and I call the labor board. Uh, did they pay you for the hour that you work? I said, yeah, well, they don't owe you nothing else. Well, like, you don't ask me to do this extra work for nothing. Mmm, they always do that. I'm doing two people work for one person's price. You think they want to hire somebody else if I can do it right? I understand completely. They gonna stick with. They gonna try to get the best bang for their buck. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm I'm sick of it. All right, and so if you if we close say at the end of March, is that gonna be enough time, or do you think April is gonna be better for you? I think April. Okay, I'll put you down for April. April. Let's see what do we got here. February. Wait, March. The taxes come. <laughs> I know that's what right. we'll put you down for the 30th of April or sooner. So we, if we need to go sooner, that's fine. So we just put 30 April or sooner on here. Yeah. Right. Because the tax being is April the 15th. I already did my taxes. I don't know when it's coming. Mm -hmm. But with your money and the tax money, hey, I shouldn't have no excuse not to be able to move. I know that's right. I think we can get it done. I mean, even if I have to and do a yard sale and sell everything I got. What all are you going to be getting rid of? I got a living room set, a dining room set, a kitchen set. Oh, wow. All, all kind of nice stuff too, huh? I bought it when I first bought it, everything that I had and started all over again. Yeah. Sometimes we have to do that though, you know? Yeah. But I had a, a somebody come over one time and they put a cigarette burn on my leather couch. Really? <laughs> that don't make no sense. You can't have nothing nice, you know that. No, you can't have no company. They come over there and mess your stuff up. <laughs> you put a you burnt the cigarette hole in my leather couch. That sounds about right. All right, Larry, I think I got the paperwork done here. April 30th. Um now, this is this is it's not binding unless I sign something, right? Yeah, once you do this, what we'll do is we'll put the money to the side to make sure we have it for your closing. because uh, we buy a lot of houses. I know you know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So so I'm gonna send you this here. Um it should be in that's your why I liked it your commercial, that's why I called you first. There you go. So yeah, you should have it in your inbox in about ten seconds. Give me a second here. I have to finish now, one. If you come out here and look at the house, you're gonna see they've been cutting down this front tree this tree in my front yard. Oh, really? How much did that cost to cut that down? Well, I'm, they still working on it. I've been making payments. Yeah, because I know they charge like a thousand dollars a tree to cut a tree down. No, I have a guy named Raul who has been doing all my yard work and cutting everything down for me and taking care of this yard for the last two years that I've been here and he's very reasonable. Really? I might have to get his contact from you then. Yeah, you will. I'll give it to you and he will love me for that. There you go. So there you go, Larry. You, you should have it in your inbox from DocuSign. Do you see something in your in, in your email? I haven't looked at it yet. 
I just want to make sure you received it. Yeah, it should say complete with DocuSign, and it should say purchase and sales agreement. Yeah, and once you, yeah, once you, yep, yep, that's it. You got it. I, I want to make sure you got it. And so once you go in there, you just click off to say you approve a digital signature. I just pushed the button. Yep, push that. Uh, say you approve the digital signature, the checkbox, and then it's going to ask you to initial those pages, and then uh, we'll have you locked in to make sure we put your funds to the side to make sure we can close on it as soon as you're ready. Every time I hear that on the computer, I want some cookies. See, I'm on the telephone. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. You should be able to do it on your phone too. Yeah, so at the top, there should be a checkbox to say you approved to do a digital signature. You see I that? that. Okay. Still not doing do you see like an orange or a blue color okay, box? Now, okay, I just put something else and it came up. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I see it now. Yep. And so all you have to do is go through, initial those pages, and okay, then. I'm going to this for tomorrow because I've been laying down and I want to read over this before I do this, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if you have any questions about anything there, you can definitely call back. My contact information. Yeah. And I, you want me to just call you back in the morning? Yeah. yeah uh, I'll get up at 3 o'clock. I'll be at work by... I'm on my bus by 6.30. Uh, so if you call me, call me around 9.30 in the morning. Okay. 9.30 a.m. Uh, that's when I'm off with the bus. I'm good to, to, to look at everything again because I'm going to read it when I get up in the morning. Yeah, that's fine. Or you can just go ahead and docu sign it whenever you get a chance. And if you do have questions, I'll call you and we can go from there. If you don't have any questions, you can just uh, docu sign it straight in there. I know that's right. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Like, you know, we buy houses for cash in any condition. So uh, this will get you squared away, get that money in your pocket. You know, this house is in good condition. It's a little dusty, but the vents need to be cleaned. Oh, yeah, we have a guy that comes out and does the duct cleaning, so that's not a problem. I can tell you that much, because I've been saying, look, where, where is this dust coming from? You know? I know, that's I right. The commercial said we need to have vents cleaned. Well, yep, yeah, we got a guy that comes out and does it. And he well, put... it, 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 that needs to be done. No, I'm not going to lie to you about nothing. And I appreciate that, Larry. I like honest people. I just really like working with honest people and doing everything in my power to help you out. But the vents need to be cleaned. Uh, other than that, the tree needs to be finished. And Raul is doing that. Yeah, he'll have that done before we close. So that's not a problem. And he's going he's gonna to complete that job for around about $1,800. Yeah, I, I figured it cost a pretty penny to cut down a tree. Yeah. What they do. <laughs> I said to myself, I'm not gonna start nothing with him. I told Raul, just cut it up and take it with him when he takes the rest of the stuff for the tree. I know that's right. So there you go, Larry. If you have any questions, like I said, let me know. If not, I'll I'll just look to see that DocuSign filled out in the morning when you get the chance to read it. Um other than that, um you have a good evening, okay? All right, thanks for giving me the call, Chris. All right, thank you. Bye bye. I just stole somebody lead. <laughs> I ain't got no marketing called Chris Buys Houses. There is a guy here in St. Louis called Chris Buys Houses. Uh, but as long as he keep a good name, my name Chris. I never said I was that guy, did I? Yeah. I just said, my name Chris. And I buy houses, baby. So I sent them the contract. You think he's going to sign that thing? Or you think they're going to flake out or find something to go?
sent them the five page purchase agreement. I should have sent them the one pager so it ain't no confusion, but that's fine. If he signed that contract, we'll have equitable interest in this deal. And this lead just came in. And that's the thing about these properties. Don't wait, plan around. If you get a lead, get on the phone with them. Don't play around, oh, I'll get to them next week, next month, next year, and play around, and then you won't have a deal. So the ARV on this property is about 160. So let me see, I hope I got it low enough. Let me double check, hope it is. If it ain't, we'll renegotiate, I ain't worried about it. I don't wanna do that, but I will. 160 times 0.65. Yeah, we got it right at the spot we need it, really. I might could just buy that house, to be honest. I might buy that property, because it's in a good area. It's over here in St. Anne. So any questions, comments, concerns about that call before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? First call, coming out hot. Somebody just text me something. Let me see what's going on here. On another deal I'm working on, I'm waiting on somebody else to sign a contract. Why do these people take so long to sign a dang old contract, man? Sign the paperwork. I used to never have this problem. I used to talk to people, get them to sign the paper, and keep it moving. And now, we got people playing around. I uh, reached out and waited for a response. Okay, that's another house we got over here in uh, Bell Fountain we'll be sending out once the contract's signed. Okay. So we respond to him. So that's a nice little deal, too, we're going to be sending out here. As soon as that paperwork's signed, we're sending it out. We already got pictures. We already got the listing done. We're ready. Yeah, I calculated 65 cent on the dollar. I did uh, ARV times 0.65. So yeah, that's what I did on that. So it's tight, but you know, it'll be all right. It's in a good area, so we can play games. Wait a minute, did somebody just sign something? Oh, that's me. Let me see. Oh, they telling me that I've signed it. I know I signed it, don't send me no notification. I want them to sign it. So I got like four people in limbo like that with contracts pending. One lady that ran off and had it signed a contract with another dude. Somebody they told her to turn their utilities on. Somebody, yeah, they want me to turn on utilities and everything. And I'm like, oh, what do you mean? Somebody else buying a house? And she's like, oh, I signed a contract with them. But come to find out, that contract that she signed, she's not even the seller. Her nephew is somebody is. So the contract she got is null and void. I'm trying to get her nephew Brian to sign the contract I got. And they want me to print it out and bring it to them. So I'm just playing limbo with her. So we got about four deals in the pipeline and about three deals ready. What do we got? Three deals ready to sell? Three deals marketed out right now. So get them set, signed up. Get them going. Any other questions? So for those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. It's the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. I'm out of St. Louis, Missouri, doing some real estate deals. I buy creative finance deals via subject two. I buy creative finance deals via seller finance. Those are my favorite. And then I also buy cash. So if you got a cash deal and you want to sell it fast, bring it on. We'll do something like that. What's your favorite time of day to call the sellers? Good question, Maya. When is your favorite time of day to call sellers? Right now, after six o'clock, after five or six, when they're off work, when they are clear from the day and they can sign that paper. Because the paperwork makes the paperwork. I like evenings like this. But, you know, we work with them. If they got to work a funky schedule, we'll work with them. You know, whatever we need to do to get the game going, you know. What happened here? So, yep, I'm about to roll, y'all. It's time to eat. We ain't ate since when? Yesterday? Yesterday. We ain't ate since yesterday. We've been fasting. We ate some junk earlier, a little snack. That don't count. But it's time to go eat some real food and the real good. So, I will catch y'all next time. This video is being brought to you by... FutureCashflowFunding.com If you're looking for funding for your real estate deals, whether that's a fix and flip or a buy and hold with that 30-year financing, go to FutureCashflowFunding.com and get you a quote right then and there. I'll tell you what your payments are and everything instantly. So that's the game we play, y'all. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters. Powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. 
You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you code call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com.